All right, so you've already heard I'm back if you've seen my young adult in my mailbox for this week. But um, I kind of lied about being it my last video for this week because I forgot that I also had to do my adult books that I had gotten. So here's my adult books, and I'll go through them really fast so it won't be too long. First off, we have uh, two scale Carolyn Sparks books from the um, Love at Stake series. Uh, I really like the, um, the series, and I got these for cheap at a used bookstore. Um, so, yeah, they're really good, and you should read them. Love at Stake by Carolyn Sparks. Go get it. Um, I was kind of having a werewolf obsession as well when I was buying these books. So that's how I got like two or three werewolf books. Um, one of them is Full Moon Rising by Carrie Arthur, who is a very, very good writer. Actually, this is about a half vampire, half werewolf girl. So this is very interesting, and I can't wait to read it. Next is Blue Moon by Lori Handeland. I don't know how to say her name properly. I hope I did. Um, but this is about werewolves or an approximation of werewolves. Uh, it's, it's some number in the series, but, um, it seemed like they were separate enough where you can read one at a time, like, like the Arjuna books where it's about an entire family, but each book is about different characters, so you can kind of skip around. I think that's what it's like. And then I got um, the second novel of The Kindred, which is called Dreamvale by Lynn Vale. That's weird. Um, but this, everyone that I, well, at least every adult author that I've followed, um, tends to tell me how much they love Lynn and her books. So I'm going to read this, and the back sounded very interesting. It's about a girl who is a kindred who's running from her abusive home life and runs into a guy named Jean-Marc who sleeps her off her feet um, and all that jazz. I don't know why I say such outdated things when I do these for you, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, this is because I, this next one is because I didn't know if um, I'd already put it in my last IMM post or not, uh, but... One Grave at a Time by Janine Frost. I love Cat and Bones, like, I ridiculously love them. And look at that setback. Is it not the sexiest thing you've ever seen? Uh, but yes, I've read this and I reviewed it. It's amazing. It's about a, like, Crusades level confessor, witch hunter, uh, is a ghost and he's after cat and it's very interesting and there's lots of German cursing and it's very good. Speaking of the Arjuno series, I bought two of those. It's one of my obsessions. This is the fourth and maybe the seventh. I don't know, this is Bastion Arjuno and this is Marguerite Arjuno. Marguerite is the mom of Bastion, so it's kind of weird that I have both of them. It feels slightly incestuous. Even though I know it's not. Um, yeah, I might edit that part out of the video because that sounded really wrong. Uh, yeah. And last but not least, two Sophie Jordan books. Sophie Jordan, um, if I'm not mistaken, the lady who wrote these historical romances, which sound very steamy and very good and have very nice covers. She also wrote uh, Firelight, which is a young adult book about dragons. So I look forward to reading her historicals and then reading her uh, YA or the other way around. I'm not sure which I'm going to do first. And last but not least, one of my birthday presents from my wonderful sister, Sailor Moon. Yes, yes, I know. I will probably get mocked for this, but I am one of the biggest Sailor Moon fans you will ever find. I've been reading the manga since I was in second grade. I love it, and they are re-releasing every other month um, the in new covers. They're re-releasing them, and I really needed this because mine are pretty much falling apart. 
like falling like if you open them they just start falling out so I'm really happy to have the new books and I I really want to read it again and thank you thank you very much my lovely sister for buying it for me for my birthday yes I am now 20 years old woohoo if you didn't know that <laughs> uh -huh. so that really is it for this week and um goodbye what'd you get in your mailbox